Nothing's worse than editing a video with a slow performing computer. But stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can fix that issue by showing you exactly what you need to do to enhance or speed up Premiere Pro performance. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start off with subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So the first thing you need to do to speed up performance is to make sure that you have the correct video render and playback settings set. You can do this by simply going up to File, New, Project, then under where it says video rendering and playback, you're gonna click this little drop down arrow here. And then where it says metal for Mac users, it should say recommended here. You're gonna select that option. If you're on a PC, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you change it to the CUDA setting. The next thing you can do to speed up performance is to change the playback resolution. So a lot of times whenever you try to play this back at full resolution, it's really glitchy or laggy. So in order to fix that and make sure that it plays back smooth, you can change it down to a half or to a quarter. And whenever I go to play it back that way, it plays back smoothly. Another very simple tip is to make sure that you have all other programs closed out. So Photoshop, Google Chrome, anything that you have additionally opened up, you wanna make sure that you close that out. Once you have all those programs closed out, then go up here to preferences, go down to memory, then change RAM reserve for other applications down to the lowest setting it will allow. And that's gonna commit almost all of your RAM to Premiere Pro. Then just go down here to where it says Optimize Rendering 4 and make sure this says Performance. Next, go over here and click on Media Cache. And then where it says Remove Media Cache Files, go ahead and select Delete. You wanna make sure that you have the option Delete Unused Media Cache Files and then press OK. Then once you've deleted those cache files, go up here to where it says Browse. And this is where you can select to have your cache files saved. I recommend you save these to an external hard drive. That's what I do. Because remember, the more space you have on your computer, the better and faster your computer is gonna operate. Once you've selected that file location, just select choose. Then what I like to do is go down here under automatically delete cache files older than seven days. You can change this to whatever you like. I usually don't work on projects for any longer than seven days. So this works for me and then press okay. Again, a big tip is to save everything you do on an external hard drive. I save everything I do inside Premiere on this external hard drive because it allows my computer to have more space on it. Therefore, Premiere runs faster. Sometimes when you're adding multiple effects throughout your sequence, this can cause Premiere Pro to bog down and won't allow you to play the video back. So in order to quickly fix this, all you have to do is go down here to the global FX mute button and select it. And what that does is it mutes every single effect that you've applied throughout that sequence so that it can play your video back smoothly. If you don't already have the global FX mute button, all you simply have to do is just go over here to this little plus button. Then you're just gonna select it, drag it down and then press okay. The final thing you can do to speed up your workflow is to create proxies. And this is typically done for high resolution footage, but to break it down simply, all you're doing is just taking that high resolution footage and down resing it down to a lower resolution for the sake of being able to edit it inside of Premiere Pro. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here into your project table. You're just gonna select all of your footage, right click, go down to proxy, and then select create proxies. For format, make sure it's set to QuickTime and then preset should be set to Cineform low resolution proxy. Then under destination, go down to browse. And typically what I like to do is create a proxy folder for every one of my projects that I create. So I'll go in here. So what I'll do is I'll go into my project folder and I'm gonna go to that project. Then I'm just gonna create a new folder, title it proxies, and then click create. Then select that folder and all my proxies will be saved in that folder. Then just press okay. What that's going to do is it's going to open up media encoder. Then once media encoder is opened up, you're just gonna go up here to this little green arrow button and it's gonna start exporting your proxies. Once your proxies have both been exported, just go pop over back over to Premiere Pro. Then I can just toggle my proxies on and off by just clicking this toggle proxies button here. If you don't have this button here, just click on this little plus button here. Just click and drag those buttons down here and just press okay. Now I can toggle my proxies and when I play it back, it plays back smoothly. And once I'm ready to export, I'll just untoggle these proxies here and I'll just export my video like normal. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.